Here at Wonderstruck, we've been thinking hard hmm, about the energy that's stored in a compressed gas because we wanted to put together a little demonstration for one of our shows. And this here is the prototype. This is what we've built so far. It's a bit rough and ready, so it's not the finished article, but it gives you an idea of what we're going to do. Now, as you can see, we've got a one litre plastic fizzy drink bottle and it's got a piece of thin nichrome wire twisted around it, which is fixed onto the ends of two screws. Now this screw is mounted on a spring so that we can apply some tension to the wire. The duct tape there is just to keep the bottle from falling over. Uh, and what's going to happen is we're going to connect this to a battery charger. So we've got a high current traveling through this wire so it's going to heat up because of the resistance and as it heats up the tension in the wire is going to allow it to bite into the bottle and rupture the bottle. So when the bottle ruptures all of the energy in the compressed air in that bottle is going to be released. Now the interesting thing, although this looks rather innocuous, is in this bottle there is actually the equivalent of about half to three quarters of a gram of dynamite in terms of energy. That's because we've got air in here pressurized to 90 pounds per square inch. So obviously the higher the pressure the more energy that's stored. These bottles have a burst pressure of about 160 pounds per square inch but we just wanted to make sure it was pretty safe while we were handling it. So when we apply the current the wire is going to heat up, it's going to rupture the bottle and all of that energy is going to be released. So I think what we need to do is give it a try. Excellent. 